Welcome students. Today let us start with our chapter first practice set 6. Hope you must have understood and practice till practice set 5. Now question number 1. Write the names of pairs of congruent line segments. Now children this figure is given to you all. From this you have to find out the pairs of congruent line segments. And you have to use a divider to find them. In your compost this uh, is called as a divider so we have to make use of this divider of uh, from this figure and we have to write here the congruent line segments now children congruent line segments means what here see here just congruent line segments means what if two line segments are having same lengths they are congruent line segments see for example ab is 3 cm this is a, this is one segment ab it is its measure is 3 cm you can Measure with the help of a scale. So this is 3 cm. CD is also 3 cm. So both are having same segment. Their measurement is same. So we can write like this. Segment AB. This is the symbol of congruence. Okay. So segment AB is congruent to segment CD. One more example. If XY is segment XY is 4 cm. And segment CD is 4 cm. As their measure is same. So we write it like this segment xy is congruent to segment cd. So this is the symbol of congruence just remember it. Okay. Similarly we can write congruent angles. If two angles are having same measures they are congruent angles. For example this is one angle abc it is of 30 degree measure and xyz another angle its measure is also 30 degree. So we say that their measure is same that means these two angles are congruent. So we write, write like this. Angle ABC, measure of angle ABC is congruent. This symbol we write to measure of angle XYZ. So remember this congruent symbol we write like this. When two segments, line segments or two angles are having same measure. So just remember this congruent line segments. We use this symbol when two segments are congruent. They are having same measurement. 3 cm, 3 cm we write like this. Segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Okay. So let's start now children. See here, practice set 6. Write the names of pairs of congruent line segments and we have to make use of this divider. So, this figure is given to you children. Just place this divider like this and see which this GB. I have placed it on GB. Now, you can place it on GC and check it. GR it is not coming same. See GC it is coming same. GB and GC. Both are coming same. So first congruent segment I can write it. This segment GB is congruent to segment GC. Because why their measurement is same. Segment GB congruent symbol we write like this. GB is congruent to segment GC. Second one more uh, we have to write three more. Now GC we have to check one uh, again. GE is not coming. GD is not coming. GM is not coming. Now with GC you can check it GN GN so segment GC congruent to segment GN as both are equal we have checked with the divider now let's see another one we will check it GR let's see GR is equal to this or what MGS GR and mg both are equal so segment gr is congruent to segment mg then gr let's see coming to g so gm and ge segment gm is congruent to segment g so we wanted only four we have seen we can check with the help of divider whose measurements are coming same now let's move further 
on the line value line below the distance between any two adjoining points shown on its equal hence filling the blanks this filling the blanks we have to do here children the distance between these two points are same qp the distance is 1 in pz the distance is 1 so distance between these two points is equal and we have to fill in the blanks this see now segment ab is congruent to segment what now see here it is here it is segment ab between a and b the distance is one unit only so here you can take it any two points whose distance is one one unit i can take it xw also because distance between them is one i can take it zy also can take it qp also anything you can take as between a and b the distance between them is only one unit so i can i will write xw you can write any answer see the second one segment ap is congruent to segment what now see where is ap ap is here ap to, to, from a to p how much distance how many distance units 1 2 3 4 5 5 unit distance so you can take it any two points whose distance is 5 units so i will take it x to c see a 1 2 3 4 4 okay i will take it from y y to 1 2 3 4 5 5 units no c so 1 2 3 4 5 why c why c so it should be 5 unit distance as between a to p it is 5 units so anything you can take it whose distance between them is 5 units now ac from a to c how many distance units distance are apart 1 2 So you can take it any two points whose distance between them is two units. So I can take it x a, you can take it p y also. So p y. Now segment dash is congruent to b y. Now where is b y? B y from b to y how many units distance? One, two, three, four. So any points whose distance between them is four units. So one, two, three, four. I can take it q x. So segment q x. Answer can be varying. Okay. now fifth one segment dash is congruent to segment yq yq from y to q count how many distance 1 2 3 so you can take it anything whose distance between them is yq 1 2 1 2 3 units distance so i can take it wc 1 2 3 Our last one segment BW is congruent to segment dash. There is BW, BW distance between them is one two. So anything any two points whose distance between them is two units. Um, I will take it as YW one and two. So here we have completed our practice set six. In the next part we will see practice set seven. Till then practice till here. Goodbye.